Hey, happy Sunday, my loves. How's everybody doing on this Sunday morning? We're going to get started right away and see what spirit has for my loves. Okay, so I have a feminine making some type of decision this morning about starting over. Okay, it looks like something's rubbing you the wrong way with this Knight of Pentacles here. Okay, and <clears throat> everything in this reading... Uh, is pointing to you, um, you don't need anybody, you're very secure, you, you make your own money, you have your stuff together, so there's no reason for you to feel stuck or have to stay with anyone, especially that you're feeling, you know, this person's just annoying and agitating you, it looks like, okay, so I'm seeing a new start, a new beginning, and I'm seeing you actually kind of vamping it out, uh, looking at what direction you're going to go in here, um, choosing a path, so to speak. Okay. Uh, let's continue here. All right. So here I'm seeing somebody's ignoring, you have something bubbling under the surface in your life here, and you're totally ignoring this. Okay. It's something that makes you carry this daily weight around. This is in the center. All right. Predominantly, this has you uh, just choking you out on the daily basis with this confusion and all kinds of, uh, you're just ignoring it, hoping it's going to go away. This Whatever this is for you, it's getting in the way of your happiness and it may be connected to this queen of swords over here. Okay, so the queen of swords. All right, let's keep going. We have the page of wands uh, dealing with something very, um, this could be like depression, uh, uh, sadness, um, feeling trapped in some something that you don't want to be trapped in anymore. This is making you feel left out in the cold, okay? I'm seeing uh, this might have something to do with something financial, and you need to balance this out, okay? You have the temperance card here, which is showing a balancing out, um, so that's what you need to do. You're feeling stuck stuck about your current financial situation um, in the center though we're seeing movement this is action guys all right so you have to actually put something in motion to make a change here instead of just waiting for something to fall from the sky or something or someone to knock on your door and fix all this all right you have to you know stop waiting you're just prolonging this you're waiting for things to fix themselves. All right, that's not how it works. You need to perform some kind of action, put something in motion. And Spirit is saying as soon as you do that, all right, you're going to have the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Swords. Okay, they're next to each other. So the Ace of Wands is like a new beginning, a new start, a lot of... Um, positivity coming in that is going to continue to get better and the ace of swords is the card of clarity so you know once you get rid of whatever this is things are going to clear up uh it's going to show up in your mind so clear uh where you want to be what you want to do and you know the steps involved in you know moving you forward that's going to bring in all this happiness and celebration okay they're also saying that for a lot of my aquas you might be not feeling uh grateful about the things that you have you're focusing on the wrong things and feeling left out in the cold okay it's so easy guys to focus in on positive things the things that you have you'll immediately feel like you want to celebrate if you follow that rule, all right? To the point where, you know, things are going to change completely. Your emotions are going to change, all right? You're going to see it happen, like, overnight if you do this and you're consistent, okay? Uh, but instead, right now, they're showing you moving away from your happiness and feeling this way, which is feeling ignored, and moving away, feeling sad, moving away from the celebration that you could be enjoying. All right, here I'm seeing a great victory coming in for this Queen of Cups, okay? Again, you had your heart broken and you're feeling stuck right now, all right? But some great victory is about to hit 
Um, looks like you're an empath, by the way. And it looks to be like something uh, has some connection to abundance for you. All right. Which is your independence, your freedom, and just, you know, having everything you need to complete your life and, and feel like you've experienced a great victory. All right. <clears throat> <clears throat> all right here i'm seeing somebody's making uh or somebody's sitting on the fence and going through some a lot of inner conflict regarding somebody that you love um you're trying to figure out you're trying to you're trying to find out what is going on with this person you feel like they're not being completely honest with you and they're not telling you um, like there's something bothering this person. All right. And it might be coming between you, like you're picking up on it. Your intuition is telling you it's screaming that this person is being closed lipped right now about something they're going through, something they're not telling you. Right. And you're trying to almost manifest it out of them. You're trying to, you know, make a change somehow with the situation. Um, and you're, right now maybe trying to do that all right the manifestation all right here i'm seeing some kind of deceit all right i feel like somebody has uh some issue with the law here some kind of court uh situation um and spirit is saying use your intuition uh you know your family it looks like your family is supporting you and then there's a king of cups over here, another masculine who is connected to this. Okay. Or this might be your issue here, uh, with the justice system. <laughs> All right, guys. So this is about, this is about a couple here. And I don't know if I'm speaking to the male or the female in this relationship or who I'm speaking to, but I'm seeing you're very happy together, whoever you are in the center. I see a complete, uh, and utter upset next to this father figure who wanted someone else for you. So this is the father of one of you who, who doesn't like the spouse or doesn't like the lover. Um, and he is, you know, older, he's, he's more mature and he's stuck on this to the point where he's so upset. All right. Because he just doesn't agree uh, with the person that you chose, but this person is making you very happy and, uh, he, he's not satisfied with that. Hmm. Interesting. If this is you comment. All right. Um, <clears throat> I'm seeing a, a lot of balancing out with my aquas today. All right. A lot of you are trying to balance things out. Uh, a lot of you are actually working through some, some past uh, baggage here, it looks like. Okay. And things, other things in your life that are making you feel defensive. It looks like a lot of you are trying to balance. You're not just balancing out your finances, guys. You're going uh, over and beyond, like over the top to get, to negate, like all the negativity in your life as well. All right. So this is awesome. I'm also seeing this empress who's spending a lot of time, uh, giving thought to this and <clears throat> yeah, you're by yourself kind of dissecting your life right now. Uh, what stays, what goes, uh, making a lot of decisions. And that is awesome. Okay. Here I'm seeing the world card, this is usually a great opportunity and there's love next to it. When I see these two cards together and I see an abundance card or a money card, I feel as though this is, uh, another stream of income coming to my aquas, some form of abundance. Okay. Um, they're saying, I've seen this reading many times over and over again. All right. There's an ambitious person or there's ambition behind, uh, making this happen. This is the, um, this has to do with the blessing. 
okay the finance is coming into each and every one of you all right i'm seeing that something either ended or something needs to end still before the abundance can come in all right so there is commitment to the transformation of something going on with this queen uh, somebody you've known for a long time that you were committed to you're going through something um, there's something coming in very quick regarding this person all right so this is somebody from your past maybe or somebody you've known for many many years somebody that you might have had a past commi commitment with and you know took a while to get over this person i feel like this person you're going to run into this person somewhere or somehow there's going to be some kind of you're going to see this person again okay um let's continue i'm seeing here hmm this is interesting i have a king of wands and a knight of wands okay this is some kind of karmic relationship um and then i'm seeing good news and I'm seeing one of you or both of you moving toward healing. So this is really good, guys. This is about two masculines from a past life who are together right now in order to complete something or do some kind of uh, teaching or learning from a past life. There's closure coming to something that needs closure, okay? And you're going to, you're going to have some kind of good news coming in regarding healing. So one of you or both of you are going to do some really intense healing now that you've uh you know brought this to completion it looks like all right i'm seeing a lot of celebration for my aquarius here a lot of happiness um a lot of you are you know putting yourself on a pedestal a lot of you know your importance right now uh, many of you who i'm talking to about this situation um there might be some sense of uh, monetary freedom right now coming in. So I feel like this is for certain people who are feeling the shift, uh, feeling like you are moving into the next dimension or the next um, time frame, the next, uh, you know, just moving out of the third dimension. You're feeling strong now. You're feeling stronger you know what you're doing, you know where you're going, and you're feeling uh, some type of disconnect and freedom now from this third dimension. And, you know, you're working on this. Some of you uh, know, know what's going on, and you're actually uh, working on, you know, moving into this next timeline, okay, toward this windfall, this positivity. Um, I am seeing... A, a tower moment for this king of swords uh you're waiting for communication regarding this windfall and you're praying you're praying about this okay so i'm gonna end the reading guys on this note um i mean it's not a, a it's not a fabulous ending i usually like to have a fabulous ending but the windfall is here. They are telling us that we are being protected right now. There's four angels in the four corners of this card. So I like that. Okay, we have this other very spiritual angelic card next to it. Um, I feel like together they're, they're really putting forward today that we are protected. All right, so there's a tower moment coming. All right, now I'm feeling um, more on this. There's a tower moment coming that we're going to need our strength for um we're all safe okay there's it, it it includes this windfall okay or at least some kind of uh announcement regarding this windfall all right so guys so it is a very positive end to the reading after all i hope you guys have a great rest of your sunday please don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to help me it takes a quick sec and i love each and every one of you and you have yourself a fabulous rest of your weekend.